In this video, we're gonna talk about Dutch, Bobby, Tommy, and Jimmy. Where are they in Cobra Kai? Why don't we see them in season one? Hope you enjoy. <laughs> What's up boys and girls, this is Vin Jim here, hope you're having a smashing day and this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And for the rest of you, thank you for joining me again. Double fist. No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, um, it's been on my mind and probably a lot of people's mind, like where are those guys, you know, the guys from... I'm just gonna call it Johnny's gang. Where is Johnny's gang from the past? Why don't we see them? Um, I think the answer is pretty apparent. Will we see them again? I think it's very possible. I do. Um, maybe even in season two. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They're very popular and fans who love Karate Kid 1 just would love to see those guys again. And, all, and the show is a little bit about nostalgia, so why the hell not? But speaking from a lot, like a realistical rational kind of a side like where would they be in the story uh, i think that the different there was a huge difference between johnny and uh, dutch bobby and tommy and jimmy uh, i think that johnny was the different kid that's why he became their leader he was standing out because of his relationship to his uh, family like he, he hated his stepdad and we still don't know anything about his real father but i think that the difference is that the other kids they were from rich families i i, I sort of got that feeling there's nothing that actually demonstrates it i just get this strong feeling that they were rich spoiled brats also and my guess is that they did the rich lifestyle they basically went on to college they probably became lawyers and you know businessmen taking over their father's businesses that's that's just my little impression of it like it, it could have gone a completely different way um i think that they rolled with that style because it's it's such a cliche thing to to have been done in the 80s at least that you know you you finish high school and then you move on and then you just study and then you take over your parents businesses or whatever and that's why I don't think I think why we don't see them basically in Cobra Kai season one. Johnny is on the outside. He always was. He was just temporarily sort of in between places. Because Johnny, if you, if you look at you know Cobra Kai season one, it sort of feels like Johnny was never the original rich brat. Like he enjoyed all the rich stuff, but it wasn't really him. I think that he and his mom probably came from something poor. That's the impression I got anyway. I could be wrong on that, but um, I think that we will see Dutch, Tommy and Bobby, but I think that it's not going to be like, oh, compadre, I think that they're going to like, they're not going to be in the same ball game, so to speak. They're going to be like, what? You you, you were just, uh, you were just fixing people's stuff? Just, uh, you're just training karate? What? You're, you didn't go to college? Like, what did you do with yourself, man? Or something like that. Like, I just... I think that they would probably not get along very well and you sort of got the feeling that Johnny Lawrence was really a kind of a loner and really on his own bad temper and all sorts of things now you would probably get along great with Dutch who's probably the crazy guy that he was back then but I think that probably most likely these have become two completely separate teams so to speak I could possibly imagine that uh, Dutch moved on to prison again there's something about the way he looked and you know i've said this before but tommy um tommy freaks me out he really does every time i see him in cry kid one i think there's something really weird with him <laughs> so um those are just my thoughts could be wrong again really like to know what you think what you think happened to all three of them um and also a reminder the let's get lost contest no one's figured out what's in this box yet you can possibly guess you could put a comment below just guess what you think it is it's yours i will ship it to you for free and also while um ending this video i could also mention that every video that i post i post at the exact same minute so 
check in the description and you'll see which time zone you are closer to. Okay, that was it for me. Catch you in the next one. Take care. Okay, that was it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, see that like button, smash it. And I got some freakishly awesome videos coming up. Better subscribe so you don't miss a beat. I'll see you later. Peace.